Tonight we're working for you, taking a closer look at how to protect your jewelry. I sat down with an expert with more than two decades of experience, asking him the best way to keep you from having your jewelry swindled from right under your nose. This is a spectacular stone. The shine of a diamond. This is a round brilliant, and it's about 2.25 carats. But can you tell the difference between a real one and a fake? Okay, Candace. This is a cubic zirconia and a natural diamond. Yep. You want to go with the bigger one? No, absolutely not. That's no? the cubic zirconia. Expert jeweler Steve Brown has more than 20 years of experience. So this is a natural diamond. This is the cubic zirconia. Wow, I think, yeah, if that was swapped out in a ring, I could never tell. Yeah, that's the scary part, right? But it's a fear you can avoid by being proactive doing your homework on where you buy. The biggest thing would be just to stay away from chain jewelry stores. Chain jewelry stores in general rarely ever have a, a jeweler on, on staff, so all of your jewelry is going to be boxed up and shipped out to a third location, and that just increases your chances dramatically of something happening, whether by accident uh, or intentional. To the naked eye, it's almost impossible to tell which is the diamond and which is the diamond simulant. Here's another thing to look for. Know all the imperfections of your diamond and jewels. Easily done by getting it plotted out, a process that takes a few minutes and shows the unique imperfections that are on it forever. This is a very complex mapping of a diamond, but every diamond is like a fingerprint. The internal imperfections, if the stone has one, unless they're internally flawless, which very few are, they're going to have some measure of internal imperfection. You can also inscribe the stone's serial number on it, a process that costs more up front, but it is another way to identify it. That one? Uh, no? Both fake, actually, so both, it's kind of a little trick, yeah. Both ne fake. Neither Come real. On. So what's most likely to be swapped in for a diamond? I would think a cubic zirconia. Cubic zirconias are significantly cheaper, but that stone eventually wears down. Diamonds do not. So remember, your best defense is a good offense. Research a company online before you go. The privately owned places are always going to be your best move. You're going to have more accountability from someone that owns the business and has everything to lose by jeopardizing his reputation than to go to a store that is owned by, uh, you know, a mega corporation out of state. Another red flag to look out for if the person helping you refuses to map out your stone. And if they do, see if you can also see what they are marking down so it is accurate. Also, try to not let your ring out of sight for a quick cleaning if possible.